It's a brand new day. Let's teach your way. It's time for music play. Welcome back to the Music Play Minutes podcast. This episode is also available as a webinar with a handout and a PD certificate. All extra resources, including visual examples mentioned in this episode, can be found at workshops.musicplay.ca. In today's episode, join Denise, where she presents a selection of respectful choral pieces perfect for your Veterans or Remembrance Day ceremonies. Discover the full range of choral pieces showcased on Music Play Online, from simple unison to songs with multiple parts. Denise will also demonstrate simple yet impactful choreography that can be easily incorporated into your performances. Okay, thank you. I'm Denise Gagne and uh, the creator of Music Play. And I want to introduce our Music Play team that's helping me out today. Uh, <laughs> without them, I would be lost, um, especially today. Danae, give a wave. And we have Michelle as well. And both these ladies are talented musicians as well as being wonderful uh, within the team. So I'm talking today about pieces for November 11th. Canadians have Remembrance Day and Americans have Veterans Day. Focus is a little bit different. There is crossover um, where there are songs certainly that we can use for both. And there are some songs that that would be less used. Um, so I will go through this. So I wanted to start with the John Jacobson song, Soldier, This Song I Sing For You, because this one is written specifically for Veterans Day, but it's also a really good song to use for November 11th. Here is Soldier, This Song I Sing For You. So as with everything John Jacobson, there is notation with vocals, uh, notation with accompaniment, lyrics, lyrics, um, and he's got full choreography movement. And for this one, we actually have a really nice kids demo. This was done at Singabration in July 2022, just when John Jacobson came and joined up with Music Play Online. And I got to attend this and hear these kids perform. So it really was quite lovely. So let's, um, I'm going to invite you to, to sing along with this. So let's go to the choreography now. Um, I have to move my zoom controls up a tiny bit. And we'll go to the, uh, the full choreography. This is quite slow, so I don't think we need to do the teaching choreography. So push back from computer screen and we'll do what John teaches us to do. Salute. For all that you have done, for sacrifice, for valor, my daughter and, and bring my that hand to your heart. Present that same hand across the front, palm up. Slower, lower the hand. Scoop one hand, not too high because you're reaching to the people you're singing to. Now bring it to your heart. And 
lower your hands towards the audience. And I'm going to stop there because we have lots to do. And so um, but I'm going to show you a little bit of the kids because it's always nice to see real children that have performed it successfully. Um, in this performance, they had a screen above that uh, was, they were able to show some of the words. beautiful song and a really good um, song to use for November 11th, whether it's Remembrance Day for Canadians or Veterans Day for Americans. Now, before I move away from um, Veterans Day, I'm going into units and I'm going into programs and musicals and I'm going to basketball performance ideas because Kristen Luco has done um, a wonderful patriotic performance. So you can download the PDF with her teacher notes. So at the beginning, we hold the basketballs still in front of the body and then two sets of eight dribble quarter notes. Now she has students that can do it between their legs and then she has some students who can't. And so they just dribble back and forth. Way easier with basketballs than with bouncy balls. This, I actually can't do the dribbling with it. All I can do is motion because it, the ball goes flying. I've tested this out. Um, then we bounce half notes. So it's just a bounce, catch, bounce, catch, two sets of eight. Then we dribble again, bounce, catch. None of Kristen's routines are particularly complicated. They are easy to learn. And the kids who have been probably playing basketball and uh, at least in phys ed classes really enjoy this. They really like this. So this is um, a, a combination or a medley of Grand Old Flag and Stars and Stripes Forever. And the version that Kristen has used is by the Ohio State University Marching Band, and she directs it to where you can get it on um, iTunes or Spotify or wherever you do. But we have created an accompaniment track that will work um, for you. And we've taken our arrangement. So this is not what Kristen recommends, but I actually think it, it works uh, quite effectively. It was interesting because our recording engineer's uh, son is a, is a drummer, he's a percussionist. And so he did the percussion solo parts and did a really great job of it. So motion, if you don't have a tennis ball or a basketball or a bouncy ball with you, just do the motions so that you can try this with Kristen's. Uh, grades five and six, I, fifth grade for sure, this is. You can see she did this in a Veterans Day performance. I love the level of engagement of the kids, 100% engagement, and of the audience as well. So, hold them right. don't perform that. Really good material to keep your fifth grade, your sixth grades engaged. 
Um, the other basketball performance pieces all shook up. The, the zombie nation one, um, I learned this and all shook up in about an hour. It doesn't, they're not that hard to do. They look really good because they fill a great big, huge space, but they aren't um, impossibly difficult to do. Uh, let's get it started by the Black Eyed Peas. And then Twilight Zone, this one is great. And then we have the Grand Old Flag Stars and Stripes. And note to self, I should probably add in to the video. We could probably do that. Add into the video the um, half notes, whole notes, quarter notes, dribble. That would make it even easier to learn. You can follow the teacher score and and do it yourself, but boy, that would be easy if it had if it was actually on the video itself. So note to self, Danae, make a little pencil and paper note so that I don't forget to do that. So I'm gonna make things small again so I can see and keep going. Um, scripts, very often you will find things for November 11th from MK8, maybe from um, Music Express magazine that John Jacobson wrote for. And I'm sure there's really good stuff out there in addition to what's in Music Play. And we wanna give you lots of options. So if you go into Units, and you go to programs and musicals, there are two options for you. One is the program Salute, and this was written by John Jacobson. So it's a Veterans Day program. Here is the script for you, and songs used include Star Spangled Banner, Soldier, This Song I Sing For You, Carried Me With You. Give my regards to Cohen. I'm not sure I would do that on a November 11th um, assembly or program. Uh, thankful, because we're thankful for all those first responders and for all the veterans that have sacrificed so much to keep us safe. I'll tell you, with the, the world events right now, I am so thankful that I'm living in a country that's peaceful and I just feel terrible for all the people that are not in such a good situation. So Salute is a whole Veterans Day program. There is other materials for November 11th. Yeah, I'm going to go to units and I'm going to go to festivals and holidays. Remembrance Day. There it is. It's called November 11th. So here are the related songs in Music Play. And you can see that we have in Flanders Fields. I, I'm actually going to suggest uh, two arrangements for you. One that's in Music Play Middle School and one that's in a different resource. And Songs of Peace. Often the focus in Canada for Remembrance Day, uh, one year the, the veterans had a, their, their motto for the year was never again. And so we've really had a focus on peace, making peace, unity in, in, our, in our countries, because war is never going to solve anything. We're only going to solve things if we learn to get along. So here are some of the unity songs that you can do. So those are the related songs at the top of the unit. These are what's really helpful, the extra resources. So there's a Remembrance Day resources handout. And this gives the protocol for doing Remembrance Day programs in Canada. And there is a fairly strict protocol that Canadians are supposed to follow. There's a sample script. This is printable. It's a PDF. And this is an editable script. So I'm going to open the PDF because the other one just downloads for me. There is the script. So this is uh, one that was used in a nearby school. Student one reads, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Remembrance Day service. Today, we celebrate and remember those who have served our country and gave us the freedom we have today. Please remember that this is a solemn and quiet assembly. Try to remember not to clap. And again, that's part of the protocol that's expected in Canada. It's not expected for Veterans Day, I'm sure. Show your respect and thank you in advance for good behavior. Then student two reads, we will begin with the entrance of our special guests, including, and in Canada, we'll often invite um, a member of the Legislative Assembly there are veterans that will sometimes come and speak. We'll invite them. So dignitaries, special guests, uh, there's a color guard, and then they have the laying of the wreath. In my school, when I did Remembrance Day assemblies, ceremonies, we would always have a wreath laid by each class. So there would be either an instrumental piece 
or we would sing a song while each grade level took up a wreath. So even our little kindergartens got to participate in this. Um, and then this is the Canadian version. So we sing O Canada. And then you can insert either a children's story, a dramatization, or a reader's theater. Part of Canadian Remembrance Day services is always the poem in Flanders Fields. And in the Remembrance Day resources handout, that poem will be there. And I'm pretty sure we have it on Music Play Online for you to teach as a poem as well as song arrangements. And then invite the veteran to speak. We'll now watch a short video presented by the Memory Project. There are some really good uh, mem some really good videos recommended on the WarMuseum.ca website. They actually have some really good ones, and schools are permitted to show them. And then this concludes our uh, our thing. So the last post is typically played followed by, it's supposed to be two minutes of silence. Often in the schools, we shorten it to one minute simply because the kids get too wiggly. And then after the minute of silence, then um, the end of the last post is, is played. So this is a sample script for Remembrance Day. And there is also, um, we, we created a script for Veterans Day. And so there's a sample script here as a PDF for you to be able to edit it yourself you can do that as um, because it's a Word doc. So you can in, uh, input it into Google Docs or in Word. Then there's a sample script too for Veterans Day, and we had some help with this as well. So here is the poem in Flanders Fields. Here is another poem, Why We Wear a Poppy. So in Flanders Fields, I mean, it's, it's an absolute classic poem. It's one that we expect our fifth graders to memorize and, and learn. And then why we wear a poppy. I, I'm not actually sure if we wear poppies in the U.S. or not, but it's something that's done in Canada. And typically the poppies come out on November the 1st and poppies are worn till November the 11th. And every news announcer, every public figure, uh, every teacher, students are encouraged to to wear the poppies and this explains why the poppies are used and it, a lot of it is explained in the poem in Flanders Fields. So it was chosen as a way to remember and poppies have become a symbol of remembrance. And then we have um, an honored son. This is another nice poem that can be used as part of a ceremony. This Hall of Heroes is good for both Remembrance and Veterans Day. It's, uh, it's given to each student. So each student that has a relative that is a veteran, many children in, this was Rainbow Creek Elementary, have friends and family that are currently serving or have served our country. We'd like to honor them. Please, please bring in a copy of a picture of friends and relatives to go up in our Hall of Heroes, label the picture with the name of the person, the student that they're related to in the war they participated in. So the name grandfather to served in. And the pictures are used to create a Hall of Heroes. And then they were done on a backdrop of bricks to create a wall. It was a really nice addition to the Remembrance Day service and it was done outside the gymnasium so that it was there. Here are recordings of the last post and Reveille so that if you don't have a trumpeter that can play, you can use the recordings. And let me just make sure, yes, it is downloadable. So that's not a problem. And then there are projectables for it as well. I am not positive. It's, it explains what the last post is. So that is good. Um, the Peace Book by Todd Parr. Another storybook that I've used with littler children is Ferdinand. And Ferdinand is the bull that doesn't want to go fight other bulls. He wants to smell the flowers. And so for your littles, your kindergartens, your grade ones, grade twos, Ferdinand the Bull is a, is a great storybook to use for Remembrance Day. So that is what's in the November 11th Festivals and Holidays unit. And you can get that from units, festivals and holidays, and look up November 11th. You can also set the filters and that will work as well. Now I want to go to some of the songs that we have. There are lots, and again, 
I can find all my November 11th songs by adding a filter. So I'm going to filter. I want songs and I want holidays and I want Remembrance Day, Veterans Day. So now I have a pretty good list of all the songs that can be used. So let's start with our littles. Our littlest is pre-Ks, and we've done a new version of Poppy's Red. That is, uh, we had some teachers that wanted us to be more gender neutral, and so we've changed the words a little bit. So Poppy's Red. Very simple song for your little. very simple little song. I'm going to stop sharing for a minute because I'm going to show you my little cookie sheet thing. I would use this song to talk about melodic direction. Poppy's red, poppy's red, and then I'd clear those off and I'd put on the next part of the song. We thank our soldiers with poppy's Peace, red. So it's uh, this tool is a great tool for showing melodic direction. I could use it for showing the rhythms. And if I'm going to all the trouble of making up a set of these, I have a half class set. I don't have a full class set. Uh, I'm going to use it for my older students as well. So this is the back side of it. And here, if I was doing this particular song, for example, with a grade two class, then I would see if they could notate the phrases, mi, re, do, on the actual staff. Clear it off, do the next phrase. Mi, re, do, could you do that? And then do, 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 re, I need to move my maggots, re, re, space them out a little bit. But this particular tool is really um, handy for teaching kids the lines of the staff, the spaces of the staff, and to start notating some simple songs. I had a teacher that posted a picture on Music Play Teachers Group on Facebook, and she was using the activity Match the Melody, and she was playing So Me Patterns with the kids. And instead of having the kids say it's number one or number two or number three, she had the kids put the pattern on the, the staff that they had heard. And so I, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. I never thought of it myself. I saw the picture and I go, oh yeah, what, a, what an awesome idea. So if I'm going to paw, peas, red, if I was going to use this, it would be handy to have a pipe cleaner. Paw, peas, red. And we could talk with our grade twos about one sound on a beat, one sound on a beat, a sound that lasts for two beats. What do we call that, grade twos? We call it a half note. So lots of teaching possibilities from a very simple song. And we used pilots so that, again, it would be inclusive. So a nice, easy song for our little guys. I'm gonna share a screen again. I'm not gonna forget. And I'm going to go to the kindergarten song for Peace, which is Kumbaya. We have some, actually some really cute little kids demos. This one we had to fuzz faces, this one not. But it's it's a, a used and well-loved little song and it touches on the theme of peace. So everybody knows how to sing this. So let's use the lyrics. <laughs>
work on a set of lyrics that doesn't include the Lord, I, I don't know what to do. If you have any ideas, please send them to me because making this something that you can use with everybody is, I think, really important. This uh, talks about phrase form, which phrases in the song are the same. Phrases one and three are the same, and our little people, our kindergartens, can, can learn that. Which phrase is similar to phrase one and three? And it's phrase number two. Which phrase is different? It's phrase number four. Now that we have split up the concept slides, it's a, a really quick way to check what concepts can I teach from this song? I mean, Kumbaya is a really well-known song, but I think it's a really good song for teaching phrase form. There's an about the song that talks about its history, <clears throat> and it is one of the most popular folk songs of all time. So you can read this yourself, or you can paraphrase for your students. So let's go to grade one. And I'm going to try and find that window that I had because I had a good one. There it is. Grade one has a beautiful lyrical piece called Just One Candle. This has many variations. During COVID, we created Rhythm Band to go with Just One Candle so that classes could perform it without singing if they weren't allowed to sing. But we have many performances of it. We have Judy, oh, I can't think of her last name, um, from Texas, who gave us ASL sign language to the song. And again, that was done during COVID so that if kids couldn't actually sing out loud, they could do the words. But the song by itself is really quite lovely. There's a piano arrangement to go with it. If you have even a parent volunteer that could accompany your students, I always think it's really nice to do at least one piece in a program where you accompany with piano so that the kids get the actual choral experience within your classroom. Accompaniment track is lovely, but it's always nice to have some piano. We always have ukulele guitar as well. There is a vocal score for this one, and this one could uh, we did it last year with our Red Deer Children's Choir, and the Red Deer Children's Choir was grades two, three, four, five. So we gave them the vocal score, and it's not too young for the, the grade two, three, four, fives. So let's, um, I'm going to invite you to sing, please, with the notation for this song, and we'll just do it once through, because essentially it repeats. Optional solo. You have a good little soloist. Just one candle shining in a window pane gives the light for all to see. A shining flame shining through the darkness. It helps to show the way. Light your candle for peace today. Shine your light for peace. modulates and it repeats. Sorry, I'm choking here. Um, let's have a listen to the kids singing. I have so many kids demos like this, I'm not even sure which one this is. And we should add the Red Deer Children's Choir version to this one today. Can you make notes? And the other one we should add to this uh, are one of our neighboring schools. It's one minute from my office. Koinonia Christian School had done it in a performance that it was really, really lovely. So if I look for yellow, yellow is grade one. So just one candle is our lyrical choral piece. Could be done easily with grades two, three, four, or five. But I have a fun piece in here. I don't think I would do this in a Remembrance Day performance, but in class, when we're talking about peace, it would actually be lots of fun. There's bucket drumming for this. We have a kid's demo of the movements that I do, but we're going to try and do the movements together. Here we go. I got peace, peace, peace in my heart. I got peace, peace, peace in my heart.
your heart. I really do. I really do enjoy it. It's uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I wrote it as a replacement for um, I've Got Peace Like a River, I think. I can't remember. But I, I wrote that one myself and I really quite like it. So that's options for first grade. Second grade, we've also got some really good options. Sing for Peace. Um, this one, there's a kid's demo here that breaks my heart every time I talk about it. So the Sing for Peace kids demo that's really, really lovely is this one that was done by a wonderful music teacher, Robert, now retired, and he worked in Broward County. And he worked in Broward County at the time of the school shooting that left 17 dead. Some of the high schools in the area <clears throat> left school for 17 minutes as a as sort of a protest he had his children sing sing for peace and they hung in the trees 17 glass dubs and the entire school sang it so this song is in second grade but again you can go second third fourth fifth you can go down to your first grade and your kindergartens there is a, an echo in here and robert's school does it really really nicely makes me tear up every time I see those doves in the trees. So it's <clears throat> beautiful little song. We have several different kids demos of it. And if you do these songs for November 11th, you could pull them back in and do them at your Christmas concert or your holiday concert. Um, Just One Candle works beautifully in a holiday concert. Sing for Peace works beautifully in a holiday concert. So don't hesitate to use songs for more than one purpose. I think it's a good use of your time and when you don't have a lot of class time with the kids. And the song Make a Difference is here. If you remember any of the, um, the story that Come From Away did, as a musical on Broadway about how 5,000 people on jumbo jets landed in Gander, Newfoundland. That particular occasion um, was celebrated 10 years later. And a lot of the people that were housed and fed by the people of Gander, Newfoundland came back and did a celebration. And the grade twos of Gander Ac Academy sang this song at that celebration. So again, we've got ASL here. These motions are by our team member, Lisa Fielder's Children's Choir. When she was running Children's Choir, I'm going to teach you them all. And I'm going to play We Can Make a Difference. And you do the <laughs> movements with me. Push back.
students have really enjoyed. And again, this is one I've done with grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five. I've done it with all grade levels. And it's always been, it's always gone over really well with the students and with the, um, with the audience. I remember I had a class of grade ones. We were doing it for Remembrance Day. And I said to the kids, I really want you to think about the words and and really show that you understand what the words mean. And this little boy in front, so sweet, he says, Mrs. Gagne, I am. And he was just affirming that they were emotionally connected to the song. I'm going to introduce you to a couple of the Flanders fields that we have. So in grade three, we have a song called Remember Flam Flanders Fields, and this was written by Sandra Clausen. It's got the poem in Flanders Fields, so you can teach the poem to the kids, notation lyrics to teach the song by rote. But let's just sing through some of this. It's very pretty. It's something that really uh, resonates with the children. Again, I've done this with my students in third grade. I've done it in second. I've done it in fourth and fifth. It's just a lovely choral piece. It's simple. It's melodic. It's, it's very beautiful. And it really does resonate with kids. <clears throat> so this is the middle school version of Flanders Fields. And this arrangement is by Craig Castles, our wonderful choral arranger. And he's actually written this one and another one. Again, you can do in unison instead of doing the parts if it's easier for your students. In just feels the poppies blow between the difficult poem to write melodically for and Craig's not only done it once he's done it twice because in the book we remember in this resource he's done another Flanders Fields that I like equally well if not <clears throat> maybe a little bit better we should probably try for next year to get that one on the website so other songs that work really well shine a light for peace I did this one and I had every child in the school with tea light candles and they covered them up with their hands. And as the, we sang the song, I had one at a time, they opened and, and did it. In fact, I think we did that with flashlights and they turned them on one at a time. But tea lights are a lot less expensive than buying flashlights for a whole choir. And it gives the same effect. You start off in the dark, you end up with all kids holding a tea light candle. So just a little bit of this one. I'm hoping I have some time to do these. <laughs> You 
have to time it for the size of the group that you have if you want to make that work. <clears throat> now, in grade five, we had Shalom by Teresa Jennings from MK8, and we didn't have it licensed actually for the website. So we took Shalom off. If you want it, it's still available through MK8, but we didn't want to be um, not properly licensing things. And we replaced Shalom with A Wish for Peace, which to me is a beautiful, beautiful replacement. We've got some lovely kids demos of this. Um, we actually should have on here the virtual choir that we did in 2020, where we invited teachers to, to sing for us. <clears throat> There's an optional flute part in this song. I played the flute part with the choir. It's not difficult. It's you could probably have a good high school student play it. I wish for you. I wish for me. I wish for all the world to live in harmony. When I look into the sky and again, at the night and this see is an optional solo. Lovely little singer. That would be lovely to do. And now the full choir comes in. I wish for you. probably should stop there, but I'm going to mention, I'm going to go to YouTube because I know I put this on, um, <clears throat> on YouTube, take one minute to stand. So this is from the collection we remember. And this to me, this touches me in a way that many, very, very few songs have touched me. So this is by Beth J and sung by Maya Danielson. Take one minute to stand all across this land. Just one minute to stand and remember the eleventh month, the eleventh day, eleventh hour, we stop and sing. We remember, we will never forget the song is published by themes and variations oh morgan i love that watermark there but it's ah that, that kind of disturbs me um i'm going to look for the in flanders fields from we remember because i believe it's on youtube as well this is in flanders fields this is the second arrangement that craig castles has done of this song and i have a hard time deciding which of these i like the best they're both really well written
published by Themes and Variations. Thank you, Morgan, for the watermark. Um, so you can get that particular song in this collection we remember. It's available store.musicplay.ca as either a download or a print product that you can get shipped to you. This this has nine songs. It has some additional poem material and it's uh, it's it's target it's not targeted it's got material that's suitable for both remembrance day and veterans day when there was a difference we included both versions of the song i just want to quickly mention some of the other resources that i put in the handout uh the royal canadian legion legion.ca slash remembrance has lit uh, poetry contests it has video contests wouldn't it be wonderful if one of you made a video of in flanders fields from music play and you won uh, and there's some serious dollars attached to these you can download a teaching guide. There's classroom teaching material and information on the protocols. I mentioned warmuseum.ca. That is another really good resource for Canadian teachers. It's got sample scripts. It's got, uh, and with the steps outlined that should be in, in the, uh, the Remembrance Day ceremony. So the two minutes, they suggest starting with the two minutes of silence, the, um, some music, the wreath-laying, a media presentation, and they have those at warmuseum.ca, a reading and an activity. So I hope this is giving you lots of options for November 11th, and not just November 11th, but hopefully for Christmas as well. So do we have any questions, Danae? I have got no questions for you. I'm going to double check on YouTube. And it's called, I'll put it into the chat. Let's see, can I put it into the chat? And I will put in store.musicplay.ca. And every every one of our publications, there's very few exceptions. You can purchase as a download, and it's a little bit less expensive than the printed option, and then you don't have to pay shipping. So you can get them at, at, as a download uh, from us. Did you see any other questions today? Yeah, um, the person who asked about uh, the resource you mentioned, um, they specified and said the one after that for Canadians. So I'm not quite sure we have. Oh, we have a song in here called Why Do We Have Remembrance Day? And then we've written Why Do We Have Veterans Day? And it's, it's there's a Canadian version, there's an American version, and both are included in here. Uh, the other titles in here, I love the In Flanders Fields, I love the Take One Minute to Stand. Standing Silently, that teaches kids why we have the minute of silence. Why do we have Remembrance or Veterans Day? May you dwell in peace. Dona Nobis Pacham uses the Dona Nobis Pacham words, but in a new setting. And then be a peacemaker and then unity. And there's a poem, Honor the Veterans, with a Canadian version and an American version. And of course, the poem in Flanders Fields is given in here as well. All right, excellent. It looks like those are all of our questions. Um, I'll check YouTube one more time. Uh, yeah, those are all of our questions. Thank you so much, Denise. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. And I hope that the November 11th ceremonies and celebrations at your school go really really well for you and this has been a help to you for planning your room in november 11th feels a bit weird talking about this in october i'm looking outside and seeing spooky ghosts and all sorts of interesting halloween things uh, but if we don't start now we're not going to be ready for it, november the 11th so it needs to be done thanks so much everybody good night all right Awesome, Denise. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for sharing your time with us today. If you would like to earn a PD certificate for this episode, download the accompanying handout, or watch the webinar, please go to workshops.musicplay.ca. See you next time. It's time.